very good evening students uh, myself uh, dinesh assistant professor manimara institute of technology chennai uh, the main motive of my this video session is uh, many students in uh, electrical branch electronics and communication branch instrumentation and control branch electronics and instrumentation branch second semester students having the paper of uh, circuit theory the subject code is we6201 uh, some students get uh, struggled in this paper uh, so it is uh, one of the fundamental paper for your engineering curriculum uh, and it's uh, only the basic concepts are involved in it if you are familiar with this uh, paper you can easily understand the fourth coming semester papers it is quite interesting also uh, if you are familiar with some of the mathematical tools and some mathematical tools regarding this paper you may easily clear this paper uh, i am explaining about the unit wise uh, sessions unit wise what are the things we are going to uh, study for your uh, arrear examinations uh, first unit basic circuit analysis so in the basic circuit analysis the basic concepts we have the fundamental laws that is which are laws ohms law what do you mean by dc circuit what do you mean by ac circuit there are uh, so many basic fundamental things are available in the uh, first unit it is in the part a sessions you may probably get the definitions the state ohms law state kirchhoff's law or defined ohms law defined kirchhoff's law like that you may get them and the 16 mark question uh, is probably from your uh, two techniques are available uh, one question from your mesh analysis uh, it is famous uh, technique for uh, determination of your unknown currents in the circuit it is one of the important uh, technique for your uh, first unit and either option is the node analysis method so in the node analysis method you may determine the unknown voltages you just remember in the mesh uh, analysis you may find out unknown currents in the node uh, analysis you may find out the unknown voltages so the calculation of unknown voltages and current you may determine using these two techniques it is a uh, quite easier with the help of your uh, basic grammar school whatever you utilized in the matrix and matrix uh, calculations you may utilize the grammar school the same grammar school we are uh, utilizing in the mesh analysis technique as well as node analysis technique it is quite interesting if you are uh, operating well the fx991 calculator it is quite easier to solve so no need to worry about your first unit it is just a mathematical technique to just uh, remember what is meant by a uh, voltage current uh, and what you mean by power the basic definition from the basic definitions only the question will arrive so don't worry about the first unit so if you are practicing these session that is one part from your mesh analysis and two second part from your uh, model analysis and the basic definitions if you are familiar with these topics surely you will get up uh, 16 marks so in the unit number 2 is network reduction and network theorems for ac as well as dc circuits so in the network reduction and network uh, theorems in the network reduction we have three techniques one is uh, the division techniques voltage and current division and um, star to delta transformation and delta to star transformation and uh, uh, one more thing is your transformation techniques the transformation technique in the sense we may easily change our voltage into current or current into voltage it is quite interesting and for the point of view of network theorems we have five theorems so first one is thevenin's theorem second one is norton's theorem third one is uh, reciprocity theorem and fourth one is superposition theorem and fifth one is the maximum power transfer theorem so these are all the five theorems available in the five theorems out of uh, five you may surely get two so if you are well prepared in your five theorems you surely get two theorems either it may be in the derivation format or in the problematic format you surely get the at least two theorems uh, in some cases uh, a reduction technique from my uh, 8 mark and a uh, theorem from 8 mark so in the subdivisions also they may ask so the five definitions so whatever i said uh, earlier so that is network theorems um, thevenin's theorem norton's theorem superposition theorem maximum power transfer theorem and reciprocity 
reciprocity theorem. These are all the five theorems. Out of these five theorems, you may surely get a two two marks. That is uh, defined now. Definite theorem or explain not as theorems. Explain max import transfer theorem. Explain super question theorem. Thus, man, the two mark question will arrive. And 16 markers, you have to find out the unknown value of voltages, currents, or points, whatever it may be, you have to find out. Uh, third unit is uh, resonance and coupled circuits. So, the resonance circuit is uh, the basic uh, relation for your uh, resonance frequency, whether it may be your CD circuit and parallel circuit, and what is the quality factor involved in your CD circuit and bandwidth involved in your resonance circuit for the case of CDs as well as parallel. And for the coupled circuits, you may get your uh, tuned circuits. Tuned circuit will be a sharp question for your next examination. Either you may get your uh, coupled circuit problems or tuned circuit and derivation. And fourth unit point of view transient response analysis or transient analysis for AC and DC circuits. Uh, here we have uh, three types of excitation circuits we have that is RL, RC, RLC. So the loads are should be RL that is resistance inductance, resistance capacitance, and resistance inductance and capacitance. So out of these three derivations, you may surely get two derivations either in the form of AC or in the form of AC. Here uh, it is in the form of derivation or the problem. Surely you will get the questions. And the famous question, two more question is what do you mean by your um, transient state or a coefficient of coupling? And then uh, what is time constant? Tau. Uh, probably the question asked in the university two mark question. Fifth unit is three phase power. So in the three phase power, uh, the balanced and unbalanced uh, voltage configuration for your uh, uh, both star network as well as delta network, you have to analyze, you have to find out uh, for the case of star means voltage, current, power, and phase are representations. In case of delta means the voltage, current, and phase power, and with your phase are representation and uh, probably we are going to learn about a three phase power so if you are learning these uh, topics you surely will get passed in the central phase paper so uh, i'll explain the paper uh, in my forthcoming sessions that's quite interesting and quite useful for your university examinations thank you i'll meet on the next section